Uh, good evening, everyone. I've got 7 o'clock p.m., uh, a little after, actually. So on that, uh, we'll call to order uh, the Eth Ethics Board meeting for this evening and ask for a call of the roll. Bauman. Excused. Berg. Here. Bonet. Here. Doyle. Excused. Groff. Here. Manny. Here. Montemere. Here. Moody. Here. Perez. Here. Brainflesh. Here. Stefan. Excused. Van Akron. Excused. Vanderwill. Excused. Longaman. Here. Warner's here. And Winger. Here. We have a quorum. You have a quorum. We have a quorum on that. I'll call for approval of the minutes from our February 23rd, 2004 meeting. So Second. All those in favor of approval of the minutes from our previous meeting signify by saying aye. 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 Sure was aye. Opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes. The minutes stand approved. Uh, the purpose of tonight's meeting is to clear out the folder of the ethics board for the year uh, by determining the fate of the items that are on our agenda for this evening. Uh, one of the, the first item on our agenda, item number four, is a resolution by all the persons Groff and Warner designating the Committee on Law and Licensing as a subcommittee of the ethics board. And on that, uh, if I can explain that, this resolution will change resolution 353-9900 by Alderman Graff and T. Van Akron, prior to April of 2000, the old Judicial and Legislative Committee was the subcommittee of the Ethics Board. When the JNL Committee was eliminated, the Salary and Grievance Committee was given that task, much like Public Protection and Safety was given the task of licensing. Since the Common Council has created a Law and Licensing Committee, this resolution change would make that committee the subcommittee of the Ethics Board and give it the duties prescribed in the resolution that we're looking at here tonight to initially review matters coming before the board and make recommendations to the board on those matters. Simply put, it just restores that duty to the Committee on Law and Licensing, as it was before. So what I would need on that is a motion by someone on the board to forward this to the clerk's office to be sent to Common Council for approval. Quorum. Isn't it three-fourths? Nine. Nine? Nine. Mm -hmm. Two-thirds? We need just a simple majority. Oh, mm -hmm. a simple majority. Thank right. You. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Do you have some move that uh, we enter a favorable report on that resolution? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Sure votes aye. Motion passes. Next item on our agenda is RO number 4710304 by the city clerk submitting a communication from Cindy Hare expressing her concern about a small group of all persons. On this, I did talk to Ms. Hare and she wanted to let the council know what her opinion was and she feels that with this letter she has done that and there appears to be no need to hold this over and I would recommend filing. I have a motion and a second to file. RO 4710304 by the city clerk. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor of filing signify by saying aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Next item on our agenda is RO number 5170304 by the city clerk submitting a communication for Betty McGinnis relative to her observations of problems between various older persons. On this, Alderman, Alderman Bonet. I was just going to make a motion to file, but I, I was going to ask the chairman if he would please read the letter for the benefit of the public. Um, Is that a motion to file? Yes, a motion to file. Second, second. motion to file. Yeah, motion um, or second to file. And the rationale is the first letter was in the in the press, but the second one wasn't. I guess I'd ask the committee, the board. Your Mr. Chairman, if the individual wanted that letter and they and read it to the public, they would have made their intent uh, clear and they would have also submitted that letter to the press as the other individual did. Okay, I guess it's up to the board. I don't know. The procedure here to take a vote. Motion's been made and seconded. Filing takes precedence. Okay. So I have a motion. Yeah, let me unblink this here. I guess uh, under discussion then, we have a motion uh, to file and a second. Under discussion, 
I think uh, this communication, although largely opinion, does mention comments made by all the persons, Stefan, uh, at a council meeting regarding concerns related to him by other council members. And my recommendation would be that since there is one missing component, which is a complainant in this case, uh, there's really only two actions we can take. One is to send it to the, board, to the ethics board of the next meeting and file it, and that's what was decided here tonight, so I would support filing. Alderman Groff, did you have something? Nope. Okay. Alderman Reinflisch. Yeah, um, I was going to bring out actually the points you just made there. Uh, if the, the uh, Ms. McGinnis would like to discuss it, the issue, uh, she should have been invited here to do so, uh, and she may have been able to read the letter, but I don't, I'd hate to get the precedent of every time we, one of us wants to read a letter, every correspondence that we take time out of our day to do that. Um, we can invite the people, if they feel strong about an issue, to, to speak here in front of us. We'll open up the floor to them. Um, so, you know, I certainly support filing right now, but if they would, if Ms. McGinnis would like to speak in front of this ethics board, I'd recommend that she would resend the letter for the next uh, ethics board after the election. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alderman Montemayor. That was still, that was my light from point of order a long time ago. Thanks. Okay. Alderman Berg. There is a public forum. <clears throat> she wants to come forward. Let her come forward and speak her piece, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for, is to listen to complaints as well as if we're doing anything good. Just Correct. let them come to the public forum and speak their piece. Mm -hmm. All right. Alderman Berg. Anyone else? Who seconded that? Uh, Alderman Groff seconded it. Or, oh, no, file. Yep. File. All the Montemayor second a motion to file. Correct. So on that, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes. Okay. We are setting a record. One of the shortest meetings ever. Other matters as are authorized by law. I have nothing. Move to Second. Uh, Sign and die? <laughs> I think this is the last ethics oh, meeting. Sign and die. Sign and die. All those in favor? Aye. Sure votes aye. Motion passes. Stand adjourned. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, well.